Welcome to a 1960s living room, everybody. This is gonna be a really fun project. Um, it's a little dark, dreary, drab. We are going to completely brighten and open up this living room. I mean, obviously there's nothing in it, so it's I guess it's pretty open. But when I say transform, I don't mean just paint on the walls and new curtains over the windows. I mean a complete remodel, which is fun, cool, and exciting. This is what's going down in Chinatown. This wall, is coming out. Whoever designed this just built a random wall here. It's not a load bearing wall. It's obviously we gotta open it up and expand this kitchen, living room, dining room area so that you can really entertain people when you come here to chill out. We are ready and set with our DeWalt starter tool kit. We got on sale at Lowe's for a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> That's what we're gonna be using today. I guarantee you it is enough to get us through this demolition process. I don't know if you've ever taken down a wall before, but especially if it's a non-load bearing wall, if you give a couple knuckleheads a hammer, they can have that sucker down at about 3.5 seconds flat. Is this thing all I'm in? How much you pay for this, man? How much do you think I can get for this at the pawn shop? We've got the floors ripped out, we've got walls ripped out. You know, what more can you ask for? Anyway, so we have a special guest with us today. He's gonna be helping us out clear the duct work upstairs in, this, in the attic. Say hello to Heisenberg, everybody. Guess who, motherfucker? It's Captain Cook. AKA Captain Cook. How y'all doing? We're pulling out a bunch of insulation so that we can vault these ceilings. We're gonna shove his ass right up into that ceiling. He's gonna clear out all of that black lung. Some people call it mesothelioma. Some people call it God knows what. But anyway, hey, we got- You gotta cough to get off, man. All right, follow me, y'all. I'm gonna show you how we do this Heisenberg style. Nice and easy, nothing to it, man. Up and in, baby, up and in. Hey Heisenberg, you got a ladder down here. Are you sure there's no black mold up here, right man? Yeah man, there's some crack up there. <laughs> hey man, there's nothing up here but mold. Heisenberg's just kind of, you know, slacking off up there. So it looks like I'm gonna have to suit up. God damn it! Oh. Crack doesn't always pay off. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny, wasn't it? So basically, yeah, it doesn't matter that he fell through the ceiling. All the sheetrock, all of the insulation, it's gotta go. We are vaulting these ceilings and it is just a dirty, messy job. If you don't wanna get super itchy, hire someone else to do it. Man, I've been looking for about an hour. I ain't seen no crack rocks yet. See a lot of insulation and drywall, but Nothing I can smoke. Ah. So after we finished ripping out all the insulation and sheetrock from the living room ceiling, we stood back and took a gander and we, we realized, you know what, even though we're going to be vaulting the living room ceiling and it's going to make the living room appear infinitely larger, uh, we still weren't completely satisfied with that. We decided to take this small, standard 36 inch wide uh, hallway entryway and expand that into a 10 foot wide walkway. Boy oh boy does it do it justice. It makes the living room appear infinitely bigger. It's still alive, that means it works. Ah! Looks good. And of course, as soon as we were done with our little side project there, which essentially expanded the width of the living room in at least a small area, it was pretty cool. We were super anxious to start removing these rafters. We are going sky high, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're taking an eight foot ceiling and going all the way up. Who put this clip in there? That's got nothing to do with nothing. <laughs> I think we're going from like an eight foot ceiling all the way up to a 12 foot ceiling in the apex uh, or the highest point of that uh, vaulted ceiling. It's really cool. We actually ended up spending a lot less money because we were able to repurpose or recycle a lot of these two by tens and it actually ended up looking pretty good and awesome. So one other side project that we needed to get done other than the headers uh, was to replace this ginormous window. See that massive hole there? <laughs> we gotta fill it. So luckily we found these two big picture frame style windows that ended up looking great. We got them for a great deal and they're gonna look awesome. 
Ah, the beautiful, the wonderful, the alluring sound of a thank Christ Almighty that this yellow invention even exists. I'm talking about a sheetrock jack, ladies and gentlemen. That yellow thing that you're looking at right now that's holding up that whole piece of a 5 8 board of sheetrock, it is a godsend. If you've ever tried to hang sheetrock above your head, especially like the heavy boards, the 5 8 Oh, fucking no, 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 this is good. Oh, 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 okay. The green one! Man, the character shit out of me. I thought that was just... I was like, oh, oh no. Oh, fucking bull of bitch! It's no joke. It's no laughing matter. Some people with, like, these massive triceps can do it no problem. So we are basically about, I guess, halfway done with this remodel. We've got floors ripped out. We have the ceiling vaulted. We have insulation hung we have new wiring going throughout and we've installed two new big ass windows and of course just like that once we had all the sheetrock hung it is now time for us to finish it with mud and tape this is you know one of those questions that you know you always you always ask yourself should I just pay somebody to hang and finish the sheetrock or should we do it ourselves you know when you do it yourself you save about 75% of the cost <laughs> but it is a lot of monotonous, tedious work. That mud and tape, mud and tape, mud and tape. And then you gotta sand it. You know what I'm saying? Can you feel me on that one? Look, when it comes to sanding your, your mud on your walls, your spackle, that white stuff, whatever the heck it's called, sheetrock mud, take your time with sanding. Have fun. You're gonna get dirty. You're gonna get messy. You know what? If you can, look, there's a couch. Hang on. There's a couch right there. Put a couch in your in your whatever room that you're working in, just so that you can sit down, chill, relax. Is your couch gonna get dirty? Yes, it is. But is it a hyper tough lesson? Look, always have a couch on the job site. Yes, it is. If you got a couch on your job site, you know you're doing it right. We want to make sure these walls are smoother than a baby's bottom. Okay, we don't want to be smooth as we want to actually transgress that gate, that shreff, that threshold that's as smooth as baby's bottom, we want to go past that. So we literally sanded this entire house with one of those little brick hand sander sponge thingies. And let me tell you, the results were phenomenal. Butter smooth walls. There was no bumps, clumps, or waviness anywhere. Everyone said like, the first thing, like, no matter how great any of this transformation was, like everybody said, man, the sheetrock guys really knew what they were doing. <laughs> or did they? You know, you could sand this whole house in about 0.5 seconds with one of those electric hand sanders, but it's just nowhere near as smooth. And because you're using those little sponge sanders, you can even paint in the same room while you're sanding it and expect flawless expert level results. Now I know what you're thinking. These bozos probably should have painted the ceilings first and then the walls. But contrary to the, the most intuitive beliefs out there, when you actually paint the walls first and then the ceiling, you have to be extra careful not to have any spillage or drips or splattering. And this leaves the end result looking even better. I think it's about 10.35 at night. And it's looking good. We're gonna wrap this up, I suppose. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the master transformation. Just three minutes ago, this is what you have seen. And wow, just look how small and claustrophobic this room looks. Someone told me there's some drugs in here. Goddamn drugs. What time is it, Chuck? Oh, I'm just uh, just getting this insulation out of here. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>